the day. From Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is the NFL on EA Sports. in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. teams have played more often than the Bears and Packers and we're underway from Lambeau. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right yeah. at the 30 yeah. yard line. Yeah. And here comes the winner of the last two NFL MVP awards Aaron Rodgers as he brings his Packers out for their first series of the game. Even as he nears age 40 Aaron Rodgers' game isn't taking a single backward step. He became only the fourth player to win back-to-back -back MVP awards and led Green Bay to its third straight 13-win season. He avoids turnovers better than anyone in football at the quarterback position, and Green Bay, they are always a front-runner with him under center. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Rodgers' throw taken in by Watkins here. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Rodgers now on first down. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And a gain of five. And it'll be second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. The duo of Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon split the work in Green Bay last season. Jones was still his excellent self with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards and 10 touchdowns. He even moved into the all-time top five for the pack in rushing. No small feat with that franchise's history.
play fake. Rodgers. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Mario Edwards flies in to blow that play up. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. Now it's Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 35. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game. It will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They go back to the ground with Jones. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and four. They'll go again to Jones. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first down, Rodgers. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Robert Quinn is the one who burst in there to blow that play up. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Rodgers to throw. Buying time to his left. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Packers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. There's a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback.
for the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Chicago's offense running out, and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second-year pro Justin Fields leading the way. Justin Fields endured some literal growing pains his rookie season, taking hits and being forced to run for it behind a porous offensive line. But he also had moments where he showed his upside as a franchise quarterback. He did win two of his first three starts and had a 100-yard rushing game against San Francisco in Week 8. Several offseason changes in Chicago should help get Field some help in Year 2. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Fields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. But you do need to know as a young quarterback that if you're going to spread the field, the ball's got to come out quick. And you have to know where to go with the football, really, in pre-snap. Identify where you want to go and get rid of it. the sack they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Here's Fields and the pressure gets to him again. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. He's been a productive union between Preston Smith and the Green Bay Packers. In his last three years wearing the green and gold he's recorded 25 sacks in that time frame. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence. And none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Big kick that time, 52 yards. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive, their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. Al Lazard just keeps improving season by season, and he's become a favorite of quarterback Aaron Rodgers. This year needs to be his biggest jump yet because the Packers need someone to step up and replace Devontae Adams. Looked a little bit like Adams on that catch, moving the sticks. Now a first down carry by Jones, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And here's Jones again on second down. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. I 
do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. On third down, here's Jones. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return, and the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Rolling to his right. And he'll be out right at the 35. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. From the 44. Fields. This pass on target. Valus Jones with it. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Fields going to hurry his guys to the line. Fields on first down. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And it's second down. <laughs> to throw his fields. scramble it gets him a first down they asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they could at least attempt to kick before the half and he does just that didn't trust what he saw downfield so he took it upon himself to get them in the field goal range using his legs that's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot a chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bears are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Santos with the extra point. 
And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. That time, a six-play drive. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Packers with a football here late in this first half as they'll take over with just under a minute left to play. now on first down eluding the pressure right throw right side going to be complete to DeGuara the Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Throwing now is Rodgers. This one swung out here to Jones. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. and 10. Here's Rodgers. He'll find Jones again. Complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards and it's second down. It appears they found something that's working and they keep going back to it. I guess you could actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. to throw once more and that would get to be off target and incomplete and not a common sight at least on this drive a momentary setback though for this passing game that has been moving well this series good thing for them though still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down Complete pass here now is second and ten. Rodgers now to throw. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. He was out there waving his arms saying throw it here. Dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Rodgers again now. He'll... Oh, now he's strapped. He lost the football, and this is picked up by the Bears. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, 
All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. Fielded right around the 8. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 up to the 33. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. But well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. From the 39, Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and now it's third and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. One play action, Fields. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Off play action, Fields. going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage at that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Try again after the sack. Fields over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So first and 10 now from the 30. Fields now to throw. 
And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the former Bear, Adrian Amos. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete second down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Now Rodgers. They'll find Lazard here over the middle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. shy of the 40. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable game. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. field one of the best home field advantages in the NFL no doubt and they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter oh he tries to force it in and it's intercepted picked off by Roquan Smith the 20 and they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights, and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. Now the point after try for Santos. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Come up 
now on a second and long after the hold. Rodgers going to throw. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 11 yards for number 11. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They're going to run the jet sweep. It's Cobb with it. And he is met. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it brings up third and five now. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know, the rhythm seems off. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Webster now to return. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, it's Fields. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Valus Jones is intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll go option to the short side. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Now Fields. Flushed out right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect them to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 15. Go, 
They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the way. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them until they keep handing it to him. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Rodgers. A check down here to Jones. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off, and the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner, and with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day-two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Continuing to run, they'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Back to throw, Fields. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Fields. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on to kick it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Well, 
Dodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 from back at their own 10 yard line. They'll drop to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. To throw is Rodgers. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Now Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. And he's going to have a Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Rodgers to throw. It's complete. Lazard, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads them into the end zone. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Rodgers. And Lazard's got it again. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. To throw is Rodgers. Pass to Lazard, bringing it in on the crossing route. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. He's back to throw. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. 
Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we may very well be headed to overtime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. Advantage Packers here. They'll possess the ball first with a chance to win it here in overtime. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal, we continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, he's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. But they plan for everything, first and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? Second down, another shot for Jones. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. Again, it's Jones. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. First throw of overtime for Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. 
So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Here's Rodgers to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. And this will be caught. Took this one in the win column. So the game-winning touchdown came through the air in overtime. Four quarters wasn't enough. We were treated to a really good one, Morgley Parker. That we were, and I just love being able to be witness to a game like this all the way through. Who's going to win it? Oh, what? We're getting overtime? Great for us. A lot of tension on the field. Very tough. Not a surprise it ended with a passing touchdown. That's the way we play in the NFL. But the execution was pretty darn good. Now Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Five plays there on that drive. And it's Sammy Watkins who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten at their 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That time they pick up a 24 yards on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Now what can Fields do here in overtime? And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense, they've got two timeouts, maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try to get themselves settled because we're in OT. This is big time. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw his fields. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. 